Um, your ex your third exercise this week is going to be a brand messaging Mad Libs, and this should be a pretty fun little exercise as well. Um, as I said earlier, consistency is really, really key in everything that you do from a branding standpoint. So you just want to start getting in the habit of using consistent messaging. Um, it's, it, you'd never have to do all of this perfect and everything's changeable, but start by like using the same tagline on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook or whatever, instead of calling yourself something different on every platform, right? Oops. So, um, oh, yeah, as I said, consistency is key to brand and a good tagline or introduction for your website or your social media is going to include is really your key value proposition or your special sauce. Um, in conversational or layman's terms. Your tagline should generally kind of answer what you do, who you do it for, and why you do it, um, or what benefits you provide. So this is a, a really simple statement is, I help X do X so they can X. I help entrepreneurs build online businesses so they can work anywhere. Makes sense, like super simple stuff. Um, so you've got a template again, you can create your own if you'd like, um, but just start by writing out that Mad Libs type statement. I help blank do blank so they can blank. You've done versions of this before in the last, I think, two different modules, um, multiple experiences. And in part two, uh, which I noticed there's two ones on here right now, um, I want you to just experiment with some different formats below. You don't have to do all of these. And if you just hit nail it right off the bat and you feel good, keep moving. If you don't just play around with it and like, just find something that feels good to you. And your, your assignment is to just start updating your social profiles and your taglines into what you do. And so some of the examples are just, you know, start framing it as do this thing. I do this thing. Um, for this type of person, right, um, who doesn't want to do this, right? You can just kind of play with how you phrase it, but they're all just variations on that first theme. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, your third exercise is what's your brand style? Um, part one is very similar to what you just did with your five adjectives for what people say about you. That was kind of your personality words. In this one, you're gonna pick your aesthetic words. So five visual adjectives. Again, you have a handout. You can also pick your own. Um, what you wanna keep in mind here is one, things that you like and things that your ideal client is gonna like and things that might repel the wrong client. So thinking back to that, um, what was it Mondo Bank? You know, if you want young, um, youthful clients, you want to use stuff that's going to resonate with useful, you know, old fashioned is not going to be one of your brand aesthetics, uh, words, right? But if you're doing high level bank encryption security work, it might be old fashioned. Like that might need to be one of your aesthetics because that's who is your ideal client and what they need. Makes sense. And then the last piece, this is the fun one. Now, I know some of you are gonna get a little perfectionistic and be like, I can't do that, you're a designer. It doesn't need to look like this. You can do this in any format, you can make your own. What, what I want you to do is start looking at websites or color palettes and just put some stuff together based on your adjectives and, um, and just put some things together until you feel like you've got something that looks good. You can use, if you're not a designer, if you don't have Illustrator, you can do a number of things. You can create a Pinterest board and just pick some things that um, makes for you and pin them in a private board. You can use Canva, canva.com, um, and put together some colors and some fonts and you know a sample logo or whatever. Pick a few pictures or textures that go together. Um, you can do it old fashioned. You can get magazines, go buy a bunch of magazines at the local Goodwill and cut them apart. Find some colors that you like to put together that you think would resonate with your client and that you like, and just put together a few things. And you, you're never actually tied to this a hundred percent, but the idea behind this, behind a style guide is that when you start creating your website and you start creating brand materials, you get your business cards, whatever it is that you're gonna create for your business, you wanna keep it 
simple in terms of with fonts, try to stick to three fonts maximum whenever possible within any given document and preferably across your brand. There are times that this doesn't work. Like, you know, you don't have any control over the font on certain websites. You might have a challenge with certain fonts doing certain things. But in general, anything that you see that comes from me is going to use Leto, Source, or Northwell. Um, and then you want to pick a number of colors. Three colors is a really good for your primary colors. And then you have two or three. And then you have some accent colors, right? So if you went to katebegoy.com, you'd see that black, gold, and white are really what I use about 80% of the time for the elements. I use that kind of off-white um, as a way to distinguish things. And then very occasionally, I'll use green or pink when I need to pop something and make it really stand out from the rest. Like if, if you have what's called a call to action button on your website and you wanna make it really stand out, use a color that you don't use anywhere else because the eye goes immediately to it, right? And then I just have, you know, grab a few pat, um, patterns, textures, um, or some other illustration or image that you think kind of defines your brand, like, oh, um, like these. I, like, I use my face most of the time. It's actually borderline narcissistic, and I don't do it because um, I want to look at my face all the time, but because I'm an introvert and I don't do a lot of in-person marketing, I try to put my face forward on the web as much as possible so people start to interact and get a feel for my personality and my kind of overly expressive face um, comes up in a lot of my images, right? So that's something that I use a lot. I like the gold patterns and texture to, as you see here and I use different ones sometimes, depends on what I'm doing. Um, and then I try when possible to use kind of cleaner, modern images with white which is not actually what you see on my Instagram because my Instagram, I just take photos of, you know, what I love and, and usually nature. And so there's a lot of different colors, but from a brand perspective, if I'm going to pick out, um, stock photos, I'm going to try and pick out a photo like this that has more white. And that is it. That's your brand workshop. I'm going to tell you that this workshop, the last time I taught it, we went over this, all of this in an hour. And then um, the students got to do all of the exercises in an hour. So keep it simple is basically what I'm saying. Um, that said, have fun with it. Be as creative as you want. I'll give you some specific um, written instructions in the next, um, in your actual lesson plan. Um, but I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Talk to you soon.